Hello, and welcome back to Teacher Tom's Tutorials. Today's lesson will be on how to create, take, and grade a quiz. Uh, this might take a long time to figure out, but I think I have found a way to shorten it, giving you another brief addition. So, let's take a look here. First thing you want to do is click on Quiz, as that's the type of post you're going to want to make, and then click on Create a Quiz, and hop up to the top there and give your quiz a title. And you're going to go ahead and give it a time limit as well. This sets the number of minutes that your students will have available to them once they begin taking the quiz to, uh, to finish it. And then go ahead and pop in your first question. You can choose the question type right off the bat or go ahead and just click add first question and you can always change the type while you are making it. Um, let me go ahead and go into a previously loaded quiz so that we can zip this up a little bit. So since I've already done one, I'm going to load a previously created quiz and let's work on this one, shall we? So I want to edit this quiz. Um, this I want to show you that there's five different types of options. You can choose multiple choice, true, false, short answer, fill in the blank, or matching questions. And I've tried to give you an example of each. So this is a multiple choice question. So as you can see, I put in my question prompt, and then I've given it a couple of responses. You can always add a response to make a you know a C option, a D option, whatever it is you want. Um, I don't need that right now. Um, you can choose the correct answer for the student. So uh, in this case, this is the correct answer. And then I'll take you to the second question. This one, as you can see, is a true false. And I've assigned this a point value of one. You can always change that. Maybe you want to make this a two point question. Um, and then once again, you set the correct answer right there. In this case, that is the correct answer. The third type of question that I've typed in, this is a short answer question. You can see I made this worth four points. And I typed in a question prompt for you, which leaves it uh, up to the students to type in whatever kind of answer they want. And I'll show you how to grade that later. The fourth type of question that you can enter in is a fill in the blank. And as you can see from this highlighting there, you're going to use uh, the underscore to, to specify where in the answer the kids uh, will type in their response. You can have two, three, four different blanks in each question. As you can see up top there, um, it gives you the chance to say how many points were, would be available to each particular answer. And then, of course, if there's more than one blank, um, they would, it would multiply that way. It's pretty simple math. In this case, I only have the one blank and the one correct answer. So I'm going to make that a three-point question. Uh, you can always change that if you'd like. Um, let's go to the fifth type of question, which I haven't had the greatest success with. Sometimes it seems to work, but I'll, I'll let you figure that on your own. And it's obviously it's a matching type. And in this case, you put the, um, the, the one column on the left side in this case when you're setting it up as a teacher, the correct answer is straight across. So of course, science is a thumbs up. Math is boring. Social studies is the place to be. And I might want to add a, another question. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oops. Might as well get that one right, at least for the question. All right, so those are your questions and your answers. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Assign Quiz. And that will load it up. You're going to have the option to choose a due date. I might as well make that due on the 19th. Um, you could schedule a time to send it, which if you're making it the night before and ready for your kids the next day, you might want to think about planning it to, to send at midnight or 1 o'clock in the morning so kids don't take a look at it uh, the night before, although they, they could. That's up to you. You're going to choose which group or groups you can send it to. That's all up to you. I'm going to send this to my dummy class and go ahead and send it now. I don't, they're not really dummies, but I'm going to send that and sure enough, I have done so. Um, let me show you what it looks like from a student's perspective. So as you can see, I'm logged in as a student now and I'm in my proper class and you can see the quiz uh, that the teacher just created is there. But you know, it looks like there's another quiz there. So I think I'm gonna take that one instead. So I'm gonna click on take quiz and we'll see how we do. As soon as the student clicks start quiz, that timer will begin. So let's go. <laughs> well, that's an easy one. Yep, another easy one. 
Hmm. Pretty simple so far, all the reasons. All right. Next question. Uh, oh, that's, please. It's easy. And our fifth. Hmm. Uh, I think that goes there. Oh, see, here's the problem. It's not It's not letting me switch and drop. Sometimes it works. Oh, it did. It did. It did. So I click Save. And then I'm done. So I click Submit Quiz. Are you sure you want to end it? Yes, I do. So I'm all set there. And I'm going to tell the teacher, interesting and view those results. You can see right off the bat the student knows how many he's got correct, um, but it also shows if there's uh, questions that are not yet graded. So the student can see, yep, got that one right, yep, got that one right, mm, this one's the one that's not graded, so we'll wait on the teacher, and that's worth five points. Um, this one, of course, I got that right, and this one, mm, got all those correct. So I'm pretty excited about that, and all I need is for the teacher to go in and grade that, and, and we'll see uh, my results. So I'm going to go back in as a teacher now, and I will select the correct class, and you can see that uh, this quiz has been turned in. I'm going to click on the Turned In button and choose the student that I want to grade. I'm going to click on their Not Graded sign. And then I can see all the answers that he or she put. You can see there's a light blue there, which means that's what I need to grade. So I can click on that one, and I can read the answer that they listed, and I can tell them that it's incorrect or correct. Um, this one, of course, is correct. And I'm going to give full credit for that answer. You can change the number of points that you give, um, and it will change the total points up there. But, of course, this one completely nailed it uh, for a perfect score. And excellent. I could give a comment to this particular question or any of the other questions I want to. And I am all set there. So the student is good to go. And I can go back to the home screen, and that student is all set. I'm all set. Thanks for checking in. I told you I would try to make this brief. So, adios muchachos. Come back another day.